welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. About a month ago, we did a cool paint job on a Buick Roadmaster. We laid down a bunch of gold leafing, did some candy over top of that to come up with this really sweet looking effect. Rather than just messing around, I wanted to try use that same technique in an actual paint job today. Because the effect is so outrageous, we need a casting that is equally outrageous. And for that, I have chosen this 65 Mustang from the Design Series in Maisto. Check it out, pretty sweet casting. It's a little bit toony. All this extra meat below the door here, they added all that to kind of accommodate these big rims so this thing looks a little bit out of out of scale but it's still a pretty cool casting this mustang was sent in by my buddy boo he's the admin of the patron discord group thank you for your continued support namaste so we're gonna try to do an extra wild paint job on this thing we'll see how it goes come on baby come on nice pristine glass we don't want to mess with that i don't look like a mustang interior to me what's up with that center console suspicious yeah, that's the first time I've seen this. It's an opening hood with a plastic engine. It's kind of just an engine panel. Sweet. That's nice when that part's removable. Hell yeah. Might be a good opportunity to use one of these. We're probably not going to because I haven't dialed it in completely yet, but this is one of the Ford engines I've been kind of working on and you can see it's been printing like plug wires and everything, so. It's a work in progress. In the future, I plan on having a fleet of engines that we can print for numerous occasions. So we got that to look forward to. I just gave this little scuff to make our stripping go easier. So let me grab the stand. Sorry, Mustang, but we got a rule here and it's all donor cars get stripped. Look at all that extra meat they added onto this casting. What would you say? This probably should be trimmed up here somewhere. <laughs> I think that's a good rule to have, right? All donor cars get stripped regardless. I think that's a pretty safe rule. I feel I feel guilty sometimes when I strip some of these cars. Like this one I felt a little bit guilty on. I feel like I have to justify it to you guys because uh, sometimes I get a lot of flack. But if we had a channel rule that states all donor cars must get stripped, then there's no problem, right? So we're gonna get this ready to spray some glue. We're not gonna do any primer or nothing like that. We're gonna go straight to an adhesive. Why is that front end so round? Look at that thing. What is going on here with this casting? Do we got another Mustang around here? What in the H-E double hockey stick is going, why is that so rounded? I feel like we should trim that back. I don't know, what do you guys think? 65 Mustang. Heavily modified 65 Mustang. That's just bizarre, man, I don't know. One of the mistakes I keep making every time I use gold leafing is uh, not covering my workspace. Those little flakes, man, I'm telling you, they get everywhere. Every time I use gold leafing for the next four paint jobs, there's going to be a little gold flake in each of my paint jobs because you just, it gets everywhere. I have a couple pieces stuck to the camera lens right now that you can't really get off of there without like scratching them. So it's, I mean, it's a nightmare. It's looking pretty good. I don't think we need to do much more than that. We're probably good to go for spraying glue. So as always, we're gonna be spraying this Speedball metal leafing adhesive through my airbrush. And we're gonna have that one guy in the comments that freaks out at me every single time. So I don't think we're gonna even make it to the door. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do, 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 do. Yeah, something like that's gonna work out nice. Just keep the glue where we need to do our leafing and that's it, okay?
All right, I'm just getting ready to do the leafing here. Our glue should be dry. All right, we're just gonna go for it. And I'll try to do it in a in a cleanly manner here. Maybe if I'm just real cautious with it, it won't make such a mess. Maybe. Well, that little bit sure went on nicely. All right, all right. Let's keep it going here. So I kind of plan for the nose of this thing to be green. So we do have to do the leafing up front here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, careful, careful. I got all my leafing looking good. There's no more little flakies coming off it. So I'm going to clean up my little area here first before I peel this tape off. Try to contain some of these flakes while I still have the chance. All these little cracks and stuff, that's going to just look amazing under the paint job. So the more little wrinkles and cracks, the better, to be honest. We've got our Mustang loaded up on the hemostats here, ready to go. I thought I'd mix our paint. We haven't used this emerald green very much over the past few years. So I thought maybe today would be a good opportunity. If anyone tries this Candy 2.0 stuff, you got to keep in mind that these little paint containers right now, this is basically just dye. And it has to be mixed with either a 40-30 balancing clear or a 40-50 gloss clear coat, which is what this is. I'm just using an old container. So this right here is some emerald green candy, which I need to reduce a little bit. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see what green looks like over the gold leafing. So here we go. Let's go to the spray booth and give this a try. So here's our result after a little bit of clear coat. You can definitely see a big difference between where we had gold leafing and where we did not have gold leafing. Uh, so far that's looking real good though. I really like how crazy this hood looks. So now to preserve our green where we want to do our flames. I have prepared some stencils using the vinyl cutter. Got a couple different sizes of flames here. So I'm going to just try to, uh, try to make this work. So this is my first flame pattern here. 
And we're gonna put this on the hood. Something like that, it's kind of our placeholder. It's gonna preserve all that green because I'm gonna go ahead and spray this whole thing candy black once we get enough green taped off. I'm gonna just do my best to try to record this because you can see she's pretty, she's pretty dark so far. I've cut a little section of flames here. I'm just gonna connect the hood flames to the fender flames. I'm hoping yeah, something like that'll work. Ooh. It should be enough flames for this side, something like that. And that's just gonna tie the hood and the fenders together. So we're just our front end here is gonna be solid green and then it should just kind of taper off as we go down. So far so good. And just make sure our front end is protected. How crazy do you guys think it's gonna look once we peel all these vinyls off, eh? I'm just itching to do it. Dang, dude. So I reset back to this point and I just wanted to show you guys the issue I've been having. I'm not gonna continue on with the gold leafing. There's a couple different things that can go horribly wrong and the first one is if you have gold leafing glued down and you get a new piece of gold leafing on top of that that blends right in, it's really hard for you to tell. It's hard for you to see it. So when you clear coat over a piece of leafing that doesn't have adhesive under it and then you tape on top of it, you're gonna just pull that chunk of leafing out completely. And the other problem I've been having is, let me show you. There you see that? So half of the, half of the leafing is bonded to the glue and the other half is right there on my tape. It's possible this only happens with imitation gold leafing, but uh, it's just making it very difficult for me to do what I want. So we're gonna scrap the leafing. I'm gonna strip this down again, get it cleaned up, and then uh, we'll figure something out, hopefully. So I'm not quite ready to give up on my fancy flames yet, so. We're gonna switch gears and we'll try something else. You guys remember that video I did a while back where we took a diamond burr and we did a bunch of squiggles? On to plan B. So I think this is going to be our saving grace on this one. We've got some pretty funky patterns happening and that's what's going to reflect through our candy in the pattern of a flame. So I wasn't really feeling that emerald green either. I'm glad you guys got a chance to have a look at it. What I've got here is a bunch of tealicious and I added just a couple drops of cobalt blue to it. So this is going to be our new color. It's going to be a little bit brighter and hopefully there's going to be a bigger contrast. The emerald green was a little bit too dark for me, so I'm changing it up and I'm heading back to the spray booth and we're gonna spray this directly over this bare metal. I'd say our pattern's looking pretty sweet. We just gotta get some flames on there now. I ended up redoing our flame pattern as well and just because I'm picky. That should look pretty sweet, I'm thinking. Typically when you're pulling out stuff like this out of vinyl, watch how easy this stuff kind of comes apart. 
there's no way I could have did that with that clear vinyl I was using. So this Scotch Cal stuff is definitely the ticket. Something like that. That looks pretty sweet. All right, I'm going for it. We're committing. I've got high hopes for this one. I'm a little bit more confident than using the gold leaf. I'm not worried about this clear coat peeling up at all. So I'm gonna just mask off the front of this and we'll spray that candy black oh, one more time. Sweet. So far so good. This vinyl is a lot more forgiving. I love this stuff. I gotta order some more of it. 3M Scotch Cal. It peels off way nicer. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, man. But we're, I think we're one of the only channels that have been doing a lot of stuff with this vinyl, so I don't really have a lot to, uh, can't really compare notes with anyone that I know of anyways. If you guys see other people using these vinyl cutters to make stencils for painting, be sure to let me know. I'd be curious to watch. I'm not subscribed to very many diecast channels. Well, not like painting channels anyways. All right, this is the big one. This is the big one for all the marbles. Ooh. Hell yeah, bro. Look at that. Custom. So that's going to look like a million bucks once we get this whole thing clear coated. It looks pretty cool in this matte finish. I know a lot of you guys are going to comment on that. However, this matte finish. It's just raw candy, so I don't know. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I am gonna ultimately clear coat the whole thing because I want this car to look outrageous. And uh, I think we're well on our way. So this makes me happy. We got to this point. Well, thank you. Thank you, Scotch Cal Vinyl by 3M. You saved my butt, sort of. This is day two, so I kind of wasted a lot of time on this project, but hell yeah, I'm super happy with that. Cool, so now I can move on to doing some details. Got the taillights started. I want to, once this chrome dries, I'm going to come back and we'll probably, I might tape it and just isolate and we'll do the little red lenses. Beep boop, beep boop. It'll be sweet. Well, it's looking pretty decent. All these little parts have to dry before I can do a clear coat though. So this is probably going to end up going back into the old paint oven here. I think I'm ready to go get this thing clear coated. I think she's going to look awesome. Gloss black. I can't wait. Your front end. Little details are all painted up. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. You can see our flame job turned out pretty sweet. I'm really digging that. So I was just doing an assembly here in this black beauty. So give me two seconds and we'll do a reveal, okay? So here's our Mustang. She's looking sharp. Doesn't look as cartoony. Now that it's painted black, I'd say it kind of hid some of it. When it was blue, it was super duper obvious, but now, I don't know, now it's just kind of cool. What do you guys think? Tomorrow I'm going to do a quick video featuring the first batch of cars that I'm going to throw up on eBay just to try to clear some room around here and also raise a little bit of money to put back into the channel. Leave me some comments on what you think about this Mustang. Say hello. Also, make sure you leave a like to support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you tomorrow. Take care, guys.